Hi, welcome to this article next system, the one from March. I just put a warning on uh, social media and on Discord telling guys, watch out, there is an update of Umox coming along. And Umox is installed and it's uh, an application that maybe you don't know. And if you don't know, then this is the timing to delete it because if you don't know it, then you probably haven't missed it. What does it do? It's um, an idea, an application to make themes of your own based on other themes from other people and try to make something, um, well, original again with all the possibilities for to change backgrounds, roundness and all that. I've never made a tutorial about it and probably never gonna make a tutorial about it because it's not my thing. But at this point in time, and we are here um, the 11th of March, and there is an update coming in. And maybe you're wondering, why is this in here then? Well, Umox was actually in uh, back in the days of Arch Labs and it um, moved along with us to Arch uh, Merch at a point of time. And at some point in time, or a year ago, maybe more, um, I, I, I deleted it from the package list. It was not installed on the ISO and people called uh, to say, hey, I want it back. So that's why it's back basically. But now there is a decision we have to take. Um, if you go Control T and have a look at Yay Umox, my decision is clear. I suppose you get the drift already in the way I talk and the video and the messages on social media, if nothing changes, and this is the version that we have now, 1.11-1, and this is the new package. Now, let me point out again to, for, to people who are maybe new to uh, Arc Linux, AUR is an Arch user repository. It's nothing to do with Arch Linux and it has nothing to do with Arc Linux. It's a depository of package builds, call them recipes, if you will, to make other applications work on your system. So this particular maintainer, none of it's uh, not from Arch Linux, not from Arch Linux, a maintainer has changed the package build to get the latest uh, Umox uh, in, which is great, right? We get free software and somebody maintains it, puts inner energy in it to maintain it. But this particular package build is gonna take a little bit in, in building. One, it's gonna cost us a lot of CPU power, time and place. And each time, every time it's gonna be updating, it's gonna ask our, cell, us, our systems to, um, well, to, to build it again and again. Well, the first download is okay, right? It's, um, I think it's 200, 300 megabytes. We'll see soon enough. And um, then it's of course, every time build again and it takes quite a while to actually build up everything but it's up to you so this is the time to decide do you want omox or don't you want omox have a look at it what the application does what it is if you say this is nothing for me doesn't make sense um let's get rid of it then pseudo pacman minus r is a good solution Yes, you can see this package does cost us already 142 megabytes. So that's 142 megabytes less that you have. And that's all you need to do. Just type pseudo pacman minus R. Wouldn't do RS because it's going to get things away, remove things that I want to keep. So just minus R. So what is this all about? What will happen if we update our system? Or in this case, install it because it's the same thing. It's gonna get us more elements in, R, E, S, V, G, etc. And it wants to have this as default and Rust needs to get in as default and all these packages. But maybe you've been wondering already, what's up here? There is a little application I've just installed, turn down. It's actually not necessary to have a yay because it's from community. You can just say sudo pacman minus s turn down. So I've just installed that and I just wanted to measure how long will it take to build everything. So I'm gonna say yay umox, I'm gonna start here the turn down, enter and I'm gonna say enter here and install everything. Oops. Let's do that again. So R for resetting and then number two 
uh, let's be sure yes number two and then here R and then enter 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 and we're building almost 337 megabytes that's the number of stuff that's coming in it's quite a bit so I wanted to warn you guys and that's why it's on uh, every social media and on discord so this is the stuff that's coming in the biggest guys are C make up there Kyo but the biggest one is this rusting here that's the biggest one in the meantime I've made a Arc Linux hello this is a clean install that's why you get all these pop-ups the forum known issues and their solutions umox updates 1103 2019 version etc and this is the code you need to copy paste to get rid of it so we're going to try it out later this is the code if per accident you did already an update and you say oh my god what is this and then come back um, he's still building he's compiling building 67 out of 81 things all kind of packages a lot of things I don't know what it's all about but it's RESVG he's building this is all the OMOX packages that we had in the past as well so this OMOX if you like it great keep installing it it will take a little bit longer now but um, if you don't use it why keep it so pseudo pacman minus r will do the trick back down so one minute 58 seconds two minutes the border here is a little bit too small that's why we can't see actually pretty nice application in the terminal like this is nicer when we have videos people who are new to Arc Linux when you watch a video on, on YouTube I will always almost always add more knowledge than the title on the YouTube video says so let's do it here as well so while we have to wait we need if we can go to um, well talk about this building and compiling you can make your computer faster did you know that there is a hidden diamond somewhere on your system when I say control T and I just go here and I say navigate to dot bin main and then three zeros that's all you need to remember and you get an application or a script that says I'm gonna check how many cores you have and I'm gonna make sure that you're using all the cores possible so that this this script is um, that's what this script does and of course if you forget this uh, well pathway you go to here to NAR and control H and if you forget that shortcut there is the show hidden files that's control H bin main use all cores so you can say open terminal here and click run it's exactly the same thing going via this way or just start typing minus I dot bin etc so if we do this he knows oh this computer has eight cores so I can have eight people working on my building and compressing and all that which makes your computer just faster the building process will be faster and that's it that's all you need to do just once at a, after a clean installation for instance that's the time to remember hey uh, let's make sure all cores are working and umox has grown from 140 to 200 megabytes it seems and that's it timer should be stopped like this more or less around four minutes 40 let's say 
So that's uh, all about this Umox. Now we have the very latest Umox. I'm not uh, have not uh, did not run it yet. So there you go. We have now a new version. Probably can do a lot more. But if it's not your thing, then maybe it's better to get rid of it. So how to get rid of it? You can do, of course, a sudo pacman minus uh, r umox, and then you'll get this. That's one thing, but all the rest of all the packages is not gone. The next solution, next best solution is this solution, which is going to delete some of the stuff, like this guy. But in order to build RESVG, we've had to install so many things. So I don't want to get uh, to lose this one, and I don't want to lose this one either. And these guys are interesting for um, creating the themes, the arc themes. So I don't like this option either. What is my option, if I have installed it, is get all the lists that the, the packages that came in with the installation from Umox, this version. So if I select everything here from A, the beginning till Z, the end, Control C, go back down here, take a terminal, Control Shift V, then you get a super long list. It's, it, it's intentionally to do this. Uh, so optionally, optionally, that's okay. That's, that's um, K wallet, by the way, is something for Plasma. So we are on XFC Openbox i3. This is, yes, is this optional? Sure, not here, right? So all these elements have been installed due to Umox update. And with this copy paste, 351.05 will be gone again. Yes. And that concludes the video, I think, right? So now we have, there's just one update, it says. <laughs> what update? Okay, so to something totally, uh, well, not related to Umox. So there you go, that's the information about Umox. It's up to you to decide. I've made my decision, what I'll do on my machines. Um, I will uninstall it and We'll see, I've asked on uh, the GitHub, well, not on the GitHub, I've asked on the EOR if it was possible to make a binary version. So we have, um, we do not have all these packages to, to, to download and build. Would be great if it were possible. If it's not possible, Umox will be no longer on our ISO. All right, cheers.